Chairman, a board of trustees of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Adolphus Wabara, has said the party would not accept any declaration of state of emergency in River State. The BOT chairman, who expressed worry over the ongoing political developments in the oil-rich state, advised President Bola Chinobo not to allow self-seeking anti-democratic forces stoking the embers of war in River State, push him into taking any step that could plunge the state into chaos. He warned that any action to undermine democracy or tamper with democratically elected government of Sinalai Fubara could spell doom for the entire country. The former Senate president said he was yet to see the reason why the chairmen whose tenure had expired are attempting to perpetrate themselves in office against the laws of the land. And to unpack this, I'm joined by member, caretaker committee, Port Harcourt City Local Government Area, Tekena Nagbosi. Good afternoon. Glad to have you join me. Yeah, good afternoon. Thank you for having me here. All right. The pleasure is all mine. Uh, what are your thoughts on the PDP BOT chairman, and that's uh, Adolf Wabara, saying a state of emergency won't be allowed in River State? Um, my thoughts are very plain and straightforward. Um, for It is so disappointing and disheartening for a person um, in the likes of the um, Kiyaseka chairman of the APC, Chief Tony Okocha, to, to at this point in time call um, for a state of emergency in River States. We, we all know the state is very peaceful and calm. We wake up every day with news of hundreds of deaths in the northern part of Nigeria. And there has not been any day that a state of emergency has been proclaimed or called upon in any of those areas. You know, rather than look for a way to resolve conflicts, you are saying that um, they should call for a state of emergency where there is no problem. River State is peaceful. Hmm. But Everybody is going, um, uh, going, uh, going along with their normal daily businesses. So how can um, an APC chairman say they should call for a state of emergency in River State? But then, I, I think, I think it's it. Yes, I'm sorry, 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 I'm coming. I think, I think um, the likes of Tony Okocha calling for a state of emergency in River State means that it's something he's planning or there's something he's cooking to make that such a statement. And I think um, I, I, I'll call, I'm calling on the security um, operatives, um, the DSS. The, the Inspector General of Police to invite Mr. Antonio Kitcher for questioning, because that that is that is very very crazy for him to say that yeah, that what a state of emergency in a place where there is no problem, where there is no crisis. Who well, does that? So the, to, the security of person has to call him. Just to chip in there, uh, I mean, following the clash between two factions, one allegedly pro Wiki and the other pro uh, Governor Simonalai Fubara, where two people died, a police officer. And also another one, the vigilante, died. Now, isn't a state, you know, a call for a state of emergency by the APC in order, in, li in the light of all that has happened, you know, last week? No, no, no. No, it is, it is not. Like I, like I said uh, previously, things happen in the country. Where, 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 there, where, there, where there's a, a drift between two, two people, then they have to come together and see how, how the conflict can be resolved. Every day people die in the northern parts of Nigeria. Has anything been done? Have, 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 have any of the northern states been called on the, on the state on an emergency or no? Rather, the elders, the leaders in the northern Nigeria, they, they put their heads together to see how they resolve the conflicts going on in their states. River State is, is peaceful. Instead of calling for a state of emergency, why not come together, put your house together, see how these conflicts can be, can be resolved? Bring in investors. Any true meaning river son that has the stake of River State in heart would never make such a statement. And for you to make such a statement, that means there's something you're cooking up. There's something you're doing behind the walls. Hence the reason the security operations have to call um, Chief Tony Okecha for questioning and for interrogations. If, if I may come in, in just, to, just to come in there, I mean, we don't uh, support derogatory comments here as a brand. Uh, let me take you on a different trajectory. Now, can we say if, you know, perhaps, I'm just saying, uh, people have also alleged that uh, perhaps if Governor Sminalai Fubara had conducted the local government elections, we wouldn't have a case of state lawmakers overstaying their tenure. What do you make of that? 
the 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 twenty three um, lo um local government chairman their that they not got expired. So we are preparing to run an election, but the local government can't be left to be open or functional. No, it's not done. Hence the need for an interim administration to take over whilst we prepare to run the local government elections. So the, um, for them to say ten hour election, no, it, it, it's it's not done. It's never in the in, in the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So what the governor did is in line of the constitution, arranging for the caretaker committee and the caretaker chairman to take over whilst preparing to run the local government elections. The, gov the governor has never mentioned that he's not running um, local government elections. No. But so this about, interim government is to... Yes, go ahead. You mentioned something quite interesting, talking about caretaker committee. Now, some people have said that in itself contravenes the constitution of the state. The governor himself inaugurating the caretaker committee is a contravention of the laws of River State. What do you make of that? No, that, that, that is not true. They should bring it to the books and will defend it. What the governor did is the right thing to do. It's in the constitution. Before now, there were other there were other other administrations. In, in, in the past administration, they constituted a, a, a caretaker committee as well. When this when the administration started. So what is different from what the His Excellency, the, the executive governor of River State, the leader of River State, what is what is doing it's in line with the constitution. There is nothing different that has that that what has happened in the, in the previous administrations. Okay, let's talk solutions Nothing now. Nothing different at all. Mm. Oh, let's talk solutions now. Looking ahead, what solution would you prefer to these ongoing crises, Bedevlin River States? Um, the, 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 everything is clear. The governor has said there is nothing to be for peace. The governor has given up a lot of things for peace to come. He said, everybody come together, let's do River State. Let's, let's make River State great again. I want peace. I am not frightened. Everybody should come, come together. Let's work together. But I don't, I don't know what's going on. But the other faction, I don't know, every day they want to do things that will cause chaos in the states. But the governor has maintained statutory peace in the states. The business of the state is going on well. He's going about um, doing his executive duties. The caretaker committee, which he just um, inaugurated, they, are, they, started, they started work. In as much as the, the, the police... Um, have barricaded almost all the local government secretaries, but it does not stop the, the caretaker committee members and, and the chairman to do the duties which they have been appointed for. And so that's a fine place. The state who are going about our, our normal duties, yes. And that's a fine place to leave it. Thank you so much for your expertise on the news. Take care, Many thanks once again. Thank you. Thank you for having me.